My name is Xavier and welcome to a very, very important mission. Ooh, I like the sign of this. I'm a little worried about this because reinforcements are incoming and we're already at strength four, which means the reinforcements are pretty quick. So the cool thing is, is that the evac over there. We can probably go directly towards it or maybe like towards it at an angle, get to it so we're sort of safe to get out if something goes wrong, come up to here and like hack this thing from behind, ignoring whatever happens to be up here and then run the prisoner out over there. Uh, in terms of the strategic value of this mission, it could not be higher. We get 21 intel, we get an engineer, which I desperately need to clear out the base, uh, and then we also get the counter dark event for extra enemies on the map. So let's start out by making sure I don't activate on a solo drone like I've done so many times before. We'll bring whoever's in the back up first. Wilhelm will scout around the corners. We see nothing great. Let's bring Felipe up, like right here. We see nothing. Let's go very aggressive now. We'll go up here. There we go. Whoa, I just saw a solo drone to the left, and I saw a pod of three. This is a very light mission, so somewhere between 10 and 12. Very likely, though, that there's only 10. I'm not a huge... Felipe could be spotted there. It seems unlikely. Do we have Trojan with Freytag? Did I get it yet? I did get it. Interesting. Let me let me do this then. Let's bring Wade Anthony up here. Perfect. We see that solo drone. I'm pretty sure Freytag's gonna have 100% to hack this drone. So let's bring him up someplace where we can see the drone right here. It looks good. Uh, 33%. What is the chance to haywire the protocol? 83%. If we succeed, we don't break concealment, and the drone is shut down and destroyed by Trojan. Actually, does Trojan do... Hmm, I'm not sure if that's 100% accurate, though, now that I think about it. 92%. I know Trojan does at least 4 damage. You can pop a drone or drones, no problem. I'm not sure if it does 5 damage, though. So... Do I want to find out right... You know what? I think I I think I'm gonna risk it. Let's let's do it. Freight tag 92%. Boom! It's shut down. So not next turn, but the turn after that, Trojan will apply, uh, and it'll deal a decent amount of damage. Hopefully five, and it just blows the thing up. Maybe four though. We'll have to find out. I know you can do concealed drone pops when they have four HP before they get alien conditioning. Uh, but in the meantime, everyone run over here for sure, as far and as fast as you can go. And then th that way we don't have to worry about the drone coming over and somehow spotting Felipe. Not that I think it could do it anyway. But uh, it's just a little bit less of a concern now, regardless. Alright, these guys are going in a place where we need to probably be. So for the most part, I think I'm just going to go over there in Overwatch. And then if the drone does pop and doesn't actually die... Um... I guess we'll break concealment. We'll see. Break concealment in Overwatch at least. Alright, Vince, come on up. That looks fine. Again, Ever Vigilant would be really good for Vince. But, you know, where he is is not a bad place. I'm going to probably overwatch them, but first, I want to go scout as much of the map as possible. We'll bring Felipe up here. We see nothing, just those three guys. Can I get down here to the tree? Yes, I can. Okay, we're now pretty much at the evac for the most part. Let's bring Freytag down as far as we can get. And otherwise, we'll bring Wilhelm up and... Oh, message. All right, and we'll bring Wade Anthony up. Okay, let's Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Let's see what happens with that drone. Boom! Just like that. Drone is destroyed. It does do five damage, and we still have concealment. There goes one enemy on the map. That's awesome. And none, no one is the wiser. Look at these doofuses just walking down the street. Awesome. Freytag. Super duper work, friend. Super duper work. Uh, however, we do need to get a move on, for sure. I hear some mechs over there. I hear a window breaking. That sounds like really far away. We're already a few turns into this mission, so let's, uh... Why don't we go loud right now? I remember Vince has damn good ground. Let's put him up here. I'm just gonna go loud, however I can. And just assume we can kill all this stuff somehow. So, we'll move up. We'll overwatch with Vince. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with Freytag exactly. I... It does look as though Wilhelm can come out here and get a perfect shot on something, so we'll move him out. Oh! There's a turret out there! Interesting. I don't really want to fight the turret. 
You know, but again, Haywire Protocol's cooldown is just not, not working. It never works for some reason. I could probably just pop it with Freytag, but then we're left dealing with these three guys with only, like, four people. So you know what? Let's abort this plan of going loud right now. And let's get out of here and not fight uh, that turret, like, at all. And in fact, we'll get Freytag someplace a little bit more useful. And Felipe's in a place where he can't move, unfortunately. Alright, well, I'm not happy about the fact that I'm spending a lot of time just tootling around in the back doing nothing. But maybe at the end of this turn I'll go loud. Perfect, these guys are coming back, they're standing in the open like doofries. God, Vince is gonna have a field day with them. Alright, yeah, now's the time. We can't wait too much longer. Reinforcements, etc, etc. Yep, reinforcements are now yellow. I'm not sure if they were last turn or not. Uh, Vince, would you like to move up to some actual cover? Like, say, here? On target position now. Perfect, now go into Overwatch. It does look like, you know what? I'm gonna actually activate that turret regardless, even though I don't want to. Okay, that's fine. Anyone else want to do something right now? Probably not. Uh, and ultimately, I do not want to lose Conceal with Felipe, so why don't we move up here? Look through the windows on, on our way up. We see, actually, perfect. Another mech and a sentry. One, two, three, four, five, six things so far spotted. Let's get up on the roof with Felipe. That's a little bit of a risky move. But we have more. Oh, we saw another pot of three out there. Okay. This, I'm, I'm very uncomfortable right now about how this is panning out. What, what is this objective? Targeting. What the heck is targeting? Large alloy cache. I want that, but I don't want the reinforcements. So, I'm probably gonna do nothing for the time being. Let's activate with Wilhelm shooting one of these dooferies, and then Vince can clean up, and then Wilhelm can shoot the turret with the second one. Or alternatively, I can leave Wilhelm there, he can shoot the turret twice, and we can activate with Wade Anthony. That probably makes more sense. Let's go for the sentry. No. How about the Rocketeer, because he's standing in the open. Oh, Wade Anthony, 94%. He also has more HP, and Vince can probably finish him up if Wade Anthony doesn't kill him. Perfect. Hit for six. Great, Vince. Now's your time to shine. Two shots on two different guys. Hopefully they're both in the open. There goes Rocketeer. Vince, murder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Reliable. Oh, he runs into the open. Vince, tag him. Nice. Hit for four. That's great. Turret does alert itself to our presence. Uh, great. Okay, sure. Come on, guys. Give me control here. Now. How do I want to finish this up? Wait, Anthony, what kind of shots do you have? Where are you? You're over here, you have a 49 there and a 49 here. The trooper's not a big deal. Let's pop a walk fire on the sentry with a 79. That's an 89 with graze. That should be enough to take him down. Perfect, Wade Anthony, excellent. I'm a little bit worried about this guy in there in terms of how am I gonna completely lock him down. He, I don't know, but the turret's also a concern. I could shoot the turret twice, no problem. Or, yeah, Wilhelm can't get up there and deal with this guy right now. So I think the plan here is, why don't I try to save my combat protocols for the mechs? And for the time being, we'll use Wilhelm to obliterate the turret. 89%, he has AP ammo. Good. There we go. Number one. And number two, it's dead. 99 now. Because Wilhelm can get flanked, I think what we should do here is toss out an aid protocol on him. And then last but not least, we really don't want to leave Freytag standing in the open when he has, uh, people can see him. We do probably want to start moving up. Let's move up here. Because eventually we're gonna have to get up there and hack the, the back of that door. And I'm really, really, really concerned right now that I've taken too long already. This thing runs away because he's scared. He's gonna join up with one of his friends back there. Fine. Okay. Let's grab Felipe. And let's be semi-sensible at this. Let's come over to this corner. Oh, we can see the guys down there. That's great. Now I want to see over here. He shouldn't be spotted. Perfect. There's a double... Was, there was something else, wasn't there? There's double sectoid, something else, that guy. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things. It's got to be like another solo drone or something. At this point, I really, really, really need to just advance. Like, we need to get up and in there 
fast. So let's grab Freytag, let's come up to the All cover, right. grab the loot, we'll probably activate something. If not, we at least see something, we get a stock. We get the activation music for no reason. Don't know what's up with that. Uh, okay, sure. Meanwhile, can we can we come over here with Vince? I mean, there was something over there, a mech and a guy. I don't know how best to engage that. God, Wilhelm is so slow. Let's move him up there. This is gonna be like a creeping Creeposaurus. We'll overwatch. We'll overwatch. And I think I'm gonna move over here with Vince, where he's gonna have line of sight on that alleyway. Hopefully that stuff comes over and we'll overwatch. And last but not least, with Freytag, you know what? It'd probably make- well, if I come up here, we activate the sectoid somehow from right there. That's interesting. I guess next turn. Let me see... Next turn I'm gonna have to- oh, I'm gonna have to see where I can activate that door. But for now, I'm just gonna overwatch. Alright, here comes the gunner and the mech that we had saw way over there before, so Vince is doing nothing way in the back. Come on, guys. Let's do stuff. A dicey mission, mostly because of reinforcements. There we go. It looks like it was just two sectoids and the guy who joined them, and they're running off in alert. That is really weird. I know there's a mech in here. Where can Freytag go that either this turn or next turn he can hack the door? And it looks like... Uh, I'm looking at the door over here, trying to, trying to... There we go! He could actually do it from there, but he'd be standing in the open. He could do it from here. But there's a chance there's even another thing out here, because I could have sworn that was a gunner and not a mech. You know what? We're gonna have to start fighting stuff eventually. Let's move up to the high cover here with Wilhelm. We'll activate whatever that is. Let's see if that is the pod with the mech. I'm gonna say it's not. It is, okay. I thought it was a gunner, but apparently it's a sentry. Come back, come say hello. Great, run into the open. Wilhelm very much appreciates that. 95% Wilhelm. AP ammo. Great. Staying on top of things, it would seem. That guy's gonna be a bit of an issue. He might flashbang or something, I'm not sure yet. Uh, definitely though, I want ever I want ever ever vigilant so badly right now. I, I constantly want it. I cannot wait to get it. Uh, for the time being, let's move Vince up there and see if we activate more stuff. I need to get a move on, and that means getting up even if it risks minor activations. Nope, I guess that's all there is. There's gotta be something else somewhere. Though I don't know what or where. I'm not sure what to do about the sentry. Let's do this. Let's move Wade Anthony up. He has AP ammo. We'll come to, like, this tile there. We'll execute the mech with him. 97% boom. He's dead. And now the bigger question is... What do I do with Freytag? Again, I, if I come over here, the, f the next turn, I could theoretically move over there... ...and hack the, hack the objective. So from here, and then next turn, go up there, hack if I needed to. Uh, however, is there something better I could do? I could move up here, but then what's he gonna, really gonna do? He could throw a flashbang, maybe. Let's do that! Let's come in and throw a flashbang. I'm really worried about this sentry, 14%. That's not, like, super exciting to me. And Freytag can probably hack that van from inside, no problem. Meanwhile, Felipe, there's not a whole lot of reason to move him. I think we're just gonna sit tight. Or that, or come over here and just peek, peek again at stuff over there. I'm pretty sure there's nothing over there, though. Okay, let's go all the way over there again. We're just looking around with Felipe, running back and forth like a headless chicken. Pretty sure that's a sport in Brazil. I think I saw that once. And this, the sentry does nothing, oddly enough, okay? And it looks like I can come up here with Freytag, I can, and I can actually go to a number of places with Freytag. Well, no, not here, not here, but I can come here. God, Gachi again is amazing. I never would have known that I could have come here and hacked that door, but not that I could have come here or here, and that is a great, great, great place. So we'll move over here with Freytag. We'll see the door. Let's hack the door now. Very sneaky, if I can get this VIP out without, without any kind of anything, I'll be happy. 81% small alloy cash, great, Freytag, you're the best. 
You are the best, sir. We are just gradually and slowly making progress in this campaign. I feel like the first campaign was more excitement. Maybe also it had like really high highs and low lows. This one's been like gradual, steady progress for the most part. The only problem with that VIP is that I move up here, I'm gonna spot, potentially spot stuff. So why don't I move her up to this corner here and see if we line a sight hack through the door. Does, does, does anything get spotted? Uh, no, okay. If I open the door, she can move like one movement, which is probably not enough and she can't be commanded anymore. So maybe next turn I'll open it and then start running. For now, I have to find a way to deal with this sentry. I have no explosives of any kind. Uh, and I do, however, have Vince here. So, why don't we move Vince up? What's over there? We'll probably go into Overwatch with him. I think Wilhelm can't get a shot here, right? But there he can. Okay, wait, Anthony, can you do anything? 64%? How? Low cover? That's actually really good. Wait, Anthony, go pro! 64! Nice! I had... I was really thinking he would have, like, no chance to do this. 74 now? Before we do that, though, Wilhelm can only get one shot. So let's pull Wilhelm over here, make sure he has line of sight. He does. We'll take his one shot, see what he can pull off. 59. Alternatively, I could walk fire, double walk fire, and that would almost assuredly kill him. Let's do that. Wilhelm, walk fire. Okay, that hits for three. All I need to do with Wade Anthony is get a smidgen of a graze, which I can guarantee with a 100% walk fire. Wow. Double ranger walk fire, Batman. Uh, and meanwhile, Felipe has nothing to do. So why don't we bring him down to grab this loot without breaking concealment? There is still three guys out there somewhere. What is this loot? It's a stock. Okay, don't really need that, but thanks. Let's move out now kind of aggressively with Felipe. Actually, well, if I move here, he probably won't get spotted because I think they're behind the van. I want to know if next turn it's going to be safe to open the door and run. It actually looks like this turn it's safe to do that. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Let's open the door. Genya... Kaz... Kazireva? I guess? God, Genya can't really go many places, but we can at least go here. Oh, that, that totally activated these guys, but not the pod. I'm pretty sure I saw the pod right there. Uh, and then let's grab R Vince. You know what? They're on alert. Could they kill Genya? Maybe? Should I aid protocol? Or will Vince have the ability to shoot all the stuff that comes out and shut down their alert shots? He's probably better off going on on Overwatch, actually, with covering fire. Even from that range. Here comes these guys as pred- Oh, there was a muton in that pot. I didn't see that. Let's hope Vince can shut down some, some of these shots, because the Genya might be murdered right here, right now. They all come out. Muton. Oh, no, Genya! No! Yes! Graze! Oh, thank God. The one time in history that Graze is actually my friend. Oh, wow. That was a very risky move, doing that. And Vince didn't get any shots. It would have made more sense to aid protocol. That was kind of my plan. Uh, at this point, all I want to do is get out of here. That's all I want to do. I want to get out and run. Run, 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 run. Let's run to places where no one's going to see Genya. That's up there. No one's on Overwatch. That's fine. Do I feel any need to fight all this stuff? Answer, no. Freytag's not really combat equipped. Felipe could maybe kill one sectoid, but then what? We have a muton out there, it's got high cover. We're not gonna have an easy time with this. Also, apparently Vince can gremlin heal from range through walls. I had no idea that didn't require line of sight. Let's actually do that? Ooh, great. And then, you know, with everyone else, let's pop a free reload here with Wilhelm. Is it worth taking those shots? No. No, it's not. Let's get out of here. Next, I want to I want to be ready to next turn be completely and utterly gone from this location. I'm not sure if we'll get Genya out in that time, but everyone else, we shouldn't have any issue. Why, why are we getting spotted here? We can go all manner of places without getting spotted, so... I can probably at least go something like that. Vince, that's, that's like, I'm a little worried about Vince, but we'll move him out there. And wait, Anthony, good lord. It's actually no good high cover places, except... Eh, let's just move in here regardless. I don't think these things will be smart enough to move up and shoot. We completely broke line of sight. They have no, no idea what's going on. The reinforcements actually dropped off screen someplace. There's the other bot. It's a snake and a gunner. Fascinating indeed. 
All right, the Muton seems to be either hacking or he just dashed up there. Like, total premonition. Wow, okay. Luckily, he made a full-on dash, that's good. Here comes the trooper now, though. The trooper probably does know that Genya's there. Oh no, Genya, good thing I had that aid protocol thingy. Or, I guess it made no difference because 72% trooper's gonna troop. Good lord. What is this, sign nonsense, who cares? Okay, the question is, how far can Genya get right now? And and that, that she, you can't command or aid pro or uh, what is it, the other thing? She can get uh, pretty far. Will she have line of sight where she goes? She actually the best place she can go is down here to where w Wilhelm is now. So my thinking here is just get her out there. Uh, combat or aid protocol her with someone. Vince looks like he needs to like literally run away. I guess Freytag's gonna do the aid protocoling and then the following turn he can move in here and hack the objective before we leave. Okay, this all looks good. Oh, we even have a smoke. We have a smoke on Freytag. So what this means is I could move Vince here to the high cover. Use his aid protocol. Hopefully he'll survive. It looks like he's doing pretty well for himself. Okay, let's do that. I'm going. Lots of dicey McDicersons right now. In terms of me just wanting to run away and not care about anything. God, I really wish there were more places I could go that had full cover. High cover, rather. Uh, but I, I just don't feel like there are. Let's move back there with Wilhelm in case, in case we have to move up and grab someone next turn. Same deal with Wade Anthony back there. Uh, great. Now, let's grab Genya. Extremely important. She goes to the high cover there. Uh, Vince, I'm feeling pretty strong about where he is. He does have that one gunner aimed at him, but for the most part, he should be fine. Let's toss up the aid protocol on Genya with him. Good. Uh, Freytag move behind to the high cover. And then we're gonna toss up a smoke now. Can we hit Vince as well? No, but we can hit Genya, and that's what really matters. Vince, you're gonna have to go pro here. And just survive one shot from something, maybe. I think. I hope. Otherwise, everyone's ready to get out next turn, including Genya. Genya should survive this. I'm just worried about Vince. He does have high cover, at least. And nothing can really see him right now. Okay, Muton probably is doing a dash to, to pull that off. Yes, he is. Gunner's gonna... This is the thing I'm worried about. Nice! Vince, 12%. Fantastic. And a zombie's gonna zom. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Everything is fantastic. Unless the snake does a tongue grab on Vince. Nope, it, it does It does manage to 28% graze him with squad side cross map through the high cover. Because sure, why not? Okay. Everything is fine though. No overwatch indicators. We're out. Unfortunately, Vince takes a one damage so scratchy McScratcher. Uh, let's also grab Freytag over here to hack that tower. I'm going to remember for the first time ever. Let's get out there and you know what? Just in case, let's move Vince this way. In case there was some kind of guy on Overwatch someplace. I didn't have any indicators, so we probably were, were fine the whole time, but... Everybody's in the evac. Freytag, let's grab you and hit that tower. Large alien alloy cash, 45%. That would be great. Absolutely great. And... No way to Anthony, no! God. Yeah. Not that I really need alloys, but there's so much of them inside of that thing. Is it worth it for anyone to take like the one or two shots that they have? Not so much. Wilhelm, do you want to kill a zombie for fun, friends? Get like two kill XP, even though it's not even worth the time. Uh, wait, Anthony. No, no one else can really do it. Felipe, you want to break your concealment to kill a zombie? Sounds good to me. Go for it. Nice. Felipe got like one XP. And we out. Okay, well. That was a good example of 1.3 in action. I did not fight the whole map. I think fighting the whole map would have been a mistake. Reinforcements were incoming at the end. Actually, I wonder if that snake and the gunner were the reinforcement, or that was the extra pod on the map. I'm pretty sure there was one extra pod on the map. Maybe that was them and the reinforcements were somewhere else. I have no idea. Uh, we got a little bit lucky with Genya there getting grazed almost point blank by that mutton. Probably a misplay. Uh, yeah, I probably should have left her in the van and then dashed the next turn up under the roof. 
But then again, the Muton might have been able to see her, or I don't know. All I know is it worked out, and it may not have worked out differently. And also, really, Vince got one scratch, and everyone else is in good condition. So that's a good, good fight half the map, run the other half of the map, and get out safely. Also, fantastic rewards for this mission. Fantastic rewards. We just made every other mission for like the next month more doable because of that. About your Behold, Freytag, pushing corporals up to sergeants all around. Wow, was that an unbelievably good mission now that I look at it. Three days on Vince, that's it? And everyone got a promotion? What? And we got an uh, engineer VIP, and we got 21 intel, and we countered the whatever. Good lord, that is incredible. Alright, wait Anthony, I'm gonna go... He's got very low mobility, and so to counter his issues with mobility, we're gonna go center mass, uh, and then implacable, and then uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here in the middle, and then probably combat fitness. So that'll give him plus one mobility, and every time he gets a kill with implacable, uh, on the first shot, he can then move and take the second shot, which is probably gonna be rapid fire. Uh, alternatively, yeah, he's got very high health, so I'm probably gonna go rapid fire. So we could shoot, get a kill, implacable, move, rapid fire. Uh, really, really, really good combo. We could also even combo that with Rapid Reaction. It wouldn't be bad, necessarily. Uh, I could, in fact, just grab Cool Under Pressure and Rapid Reaction. And right there, you have, like, the basis of a really awesome spec. In fact, do I want to do that? Probably not, but maybe? The, al the alternative is the old crit build that I used to do. It makes a lot of sense to go Aggression, uh, Executioner, bring him on. And then Rupture, good god, that is one incredibly powerful spec, but with low mobility, he won't be able to execute that as often. I am very tempted, if he's gonna go Combat Fitness for the extra aim, and he has really good aim, it makes so much sense to also pick up Cool Under Pressure and Rapid Reaction later on. I just talked myself into it, I think. He's like a hybrid, a total hybrid spec. Very interesting. Nah, I talked myself out of it. I like the hybrid spec idea, but I'm gonna do what I was talking about before. Center mass, which I can't click on because of the bug, unfortunately. I don't know what we're gonna do here. Execution or fortify, we'll figure it out. Then I'm gonna go implacable, and then rapid fire, and then combat fitness. That makes a lot of sense. And then for... Yeah, I can't click for him. Alright, uh, let's do a fray tag then. So for a fray tag, he has Trojan. He's not ever going to shoot, he's not really ever going to use Medic, so let's go airdrop, that sounds great, even though I only have one Grenadier in the entire barracks. <laughs> we'll get there though, we'll get somebody, Felipe, hard targets, I love the survivability, I, I mean, Covart's super, 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 super strong, but uh, I love the survivability, regardless of spec. And then also Wilhelm, you know, he's got slightly more mobility, and now I'm just so torn. I'm so torn, I don't know what to do, especially because... If I'm going combat fitness for the mobility... I mean, having the option... To both rack... Oh, wow. It's, it's a dicey one. You know what? Why don't I do one of each? So... Let's give Wilhelm center mass. And then with Wade Anthony, I'll give him a cool under pressure. We got two stocks, ten alloys, a VIP, great. Let's assign her to do something. Um, not a whole lot she can actually do right now. I guess just go down here. Finish that up a little bit sooner. We'll go promote Wade Anthony to that weird combo spec I only just now kind of thought up. Not sure about this one, but we'll try it. Cool under pressure. A little bit weird. Uh, but nonetheless, it's good. And that's it. So, what the heck do we do now? What is this mission? I keep, I keep forgetting. Every time I come back here, it's like a whole new world for me. That's the monument mission. We're not doing that. This is a zero-hour jailbreak. We gave up that. This is one day smash and grab. I would have loved to have done that. Neutralize target. Don't care about that. So, we have Liberation 2 being queued up here. Probably makes sense to go to Eastern Europe and look for troop columns now. That or hang out here. But there's two guerrilla ops already, three days. 
and one day. So nothing's really going to go on in this region for a day. Let's hit up Eastern Europe at least until one of these is gone. Since you can't have more than two guerrilla ops in a region at a time. Oh, <laughs> look at that. There's a thing. Five days, ten hours, smash and grab. Fascinating. This is a strength four smash and grab, though, and it's very light. This is where they start getting difficult. But I do have a pretty good squad. Um, uh, Dicey McDicersons, June 5th, huh? We could be up against full M2s any minute now. Operation Rebel Whisper. Let me try to gear it up and see how it comes out and see if I'm happy with it. But I'm 50-50 on whether or not I want to attempt this in this region. I really don't know. And here's the squad. Free tags of fancy fellas. I'm brought to you by also Amaral and Josh Ross. This is a little bit weird. I might not do this mission. Eventually I might cancel it. But it's close enough that I'm going to potentially try it. So I'm going to send this squad in. I've actually taken out as much gear as I possibly can, giving them empty space to help increase the infiltration slightly. I'm up to 97%. If I can hit the normal threshold and we do a very light, I might do it. Uh, however, I also might cancel it. It's also possible I would boost it. You know, if I didn't get that resistance contact, I absolutely would have planned on boosting this, but I'm saving my intel to expand to a fifth region as soon as that's done, which is pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, this mission may or may not work out. Josh actually has no armor or ablative or anything whatsoever. Again, so we can get infiltrate. I was at 94% infiltration with everyone having all the items. And I bumped it up to 97 by taking off as many things as possible. And this is where I wish I didn't sell those advanced suppressors, because they would have helped. Even just those two advanced suppressors would have probably ticked me up to 100% if I put them on Josh and Wilhelm, but this is all I have for now. Anyway, we're gonna gear this up. We'll see, we'll play it super carefully. I might only go there and kill some guys, get some loot and leave, and not even grab the chests. Maybe Felipe can grab a chest, maybe it'll be easy. Um, I'm hoping we don't get screwed over and have the evac right in the middle of all the units, though. Uh, we'll see. Uh, also, there's a strategic reason I'm doing this mission, which I'll get to in just a second. Sky Ranger deployed. Okay, so strategically speaking, we've done a lot of missions in New India recently. So the vigilance is very high there, and I was looking at the map trying to decide what to do, and West Asia has no strength. It has one strength. It can't reinforce New India. The AI will want to reinforce New India over everything else because we've done the most missions there recently. It can't reinforce from New Indonesia. I don't know what they have in East Africa, but I'm going to gamble and say they don't have much. Meaning if they want to reinforce New India, and we've been laying low for the most part in Eastern Europe, even though we just did one mission there, the strength point is very likely to come from Eastern Europe and go to India. Thus making this smash and grab one and a half less enemies more difficult. So really, I'm kind of banking on that happening before this mission finishes up and also this mission hitting the normal thing at 97%. Uh, a lot of ifs. I'm probably going to cancel that, to be entirely honest. Or if a troop column comes up, that's getting canceled as well. But for now, I think we're good to scan, but I feel like I'm forgetting something. Commander, we currently have no new supplies. New supplies? We'll need to seek out yeah, I know we don't have any supplies, Bradford. I know we don't have any supplies. I don't want to send anyone to supplies because I'm trying to manage vigilance. Let's scan here in Eastern Europe for a little bit. Look for a troop column. All right, well, this is my extract VIP. This is the Liberation 2 Operation Breeding Self-Indulgence. Hmm. Okay. I did plan on boosting this. Uh, did I plan on boosting that actually before I got the resistance contacts? Because it seems weird to me that I would plan to do a mission. But now that I've already got it all infiltrated and all set up, and I'm pretty sure... Let's go check really quick to make sure the... Strength did not go up in New India. It did not. Yeah, all right. I guess we'll boost that. Let me also really check research really then, quick. With the Advent officer currently in cold storage, we should perform the autopsy oh, as soon God. as possible. Good God. Alien data cache, seven days. Data pad, nine days. Realistically, I should switch to the data cache. I think you get like 40 intel for those. And that'll help me expand. And then again, do I need to expand to a fifth region right now? Not really. I still have plenty of regions I can work with that are low vigilance, so... Well, let's do this then. We are gonna boost this. Extract VIP. Liberation 2. In a region I don't care about so much, but it's extremely light. 125% infiltrated. It's gonna be Constantine, Zera, Macronova, and Russell. This'll be an interesting one without concealment and only four people. 
Especially if it's uh, M2s. M2s should be showing up any- I saw a couple of them already. They should be showing up uh, a lot more now, and that makes me very, very, very scared. But we'll see in the next episode for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. He also has more HP, and Vince can probably finish him up if Wade Anthony doesn't kill him. Perfect. Hit for six. Great, Vince. Now's your time to shine. Two shots on two different guys. Hopefully they're both in the open. There goes Rocketeer. Vince murder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Reliable. Oh, he runs into the open. Vince! Tag him! Nice.